What's going on guys? My name is Jordan. I'm a technician at Hall Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Today's video is a good one. It's pretty spicy, a little, little contentious. Uh, might get me a phone call or email tomorrow. All right, we're gonna, we're, we'll see after today. Um, but today's video is uh, talking about how these vehicles, the Dodge Charger Daytona and the Wagoner S can accelerate on their own. Right? Sounds, sounds pretty crazy, right? But what if I told you it's by design and Stellantis calls it something called drive-by brake? Right? Pretty wild. So, before we talk about that, let's talk about how we got here. So, the car is released in February, and multiple technicians, customers had kind of experienced this issue where the vehicles would accelerate on their own without any accelerator input. Pressing the accelerator would not do anything. You would have to control the vehicle by using the brake pedal. Now, we had all put engineering cases in. I'd seen quite a few from different technicians, you know, asking questions, trying to figure out what was going on. Was the car broken? What was happening? Now, I never really got any good information from Stellantis. What happened was there was a vehicle full of cameras and automotive journalists from Edmonds, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen the video, uh, that had this happen to them. Their vehicle accelerated on their own. And within a few days, Stellantis released a statement calling it something called drive-by brake and that it was a safety feature of the vehicle. Now, we had no documentation of this as technicians and the dealerships didn't have anything. There's nothing in the owner's manual. Um, so I was kind of taken back by that information. So I reached out to Lantis and I have a pretty lengthy email chain going back and forth with as high as I could get. Um, and I got the exact same statement that it was a safety feature built into the vehicle. I mean, that kind of frustrated me again, as a technician, I like to know how things work. I want the proof. I want the data. I want to be able to read a bulletin. I want to be able to go through our service information and find something to prove that. And unfortunately I could not. Um, and again, you know, it had been pretty well documented. I have had it happen to myself on an RT. Uh, one of my co-workers has had to happen. Now, multiple people in the forum had had to happen. So we had kind of done our own investigation of what we thought it was. Um, even Socket Monkey Garage, Brandon, he had done some extensive research um, investigation and found quite a, quite a bit of alarming stuff. Um, and so once that statement was released, it kind of left a bad taste in his mouth, and which may be why he stepped back. But Stellantis has released information, and I'm going to provide it to you because I believe this is extremely important information to you, the customer, anybody who drives this car, not just owners. You know, if you're going to be lending it to a friend, you're going to be letting your daughter borrow it, you're going to be renting it out on Toro, you know, let people know about this. And that is this star case here. And I'm going to post this in my community pages. I'm going to pop it up on screen. I'm going to put it in the Facebook groups, and I'm going to put it on the forum so that way you can read it. Basically, what's going on is this vehicle, this the Charger and the Wagoneer, uh, if it senses a fault in the accelerator pedal or several other, other codes listed, it can go into a limp home mode. Now, what this limp home mode will do is it will propel the vehicle off the road. Now, this isn't like a sudden acceleration. You know, it's not going to shoot forward, you know, 60 miles an hour in, in three seconds. It's not going to happen. It's going to be a gradual acceleration to 50 miles an hour. Your accelerator pedal will not work. You should get a turtle on the dash saying that it, you know, the vehicle speed is limited. But you're going to use the brake pedal to control the vehicle. Kind of like, uh, you know, let's say you're driving an ICE car, you know, and you're just using the, the brake pedal in the parking lot. Um, it should not go above 50 miles an hour, but it should hopefully get you to the shoulder if you do experience a fault. Um, so, yeah, uh, it is... It can be alarming. I would think it would. You know, I, I'm, I know a lot about cars. It wouldn't really freak me out, but I can only, you know, I love my wife. But my God, if that had happened to her, I can only imagine how much she'd freak out. Um, so, like, again, you know, I think this is important to, that people know this stuff. Um, now, Stellantis is in the process of updating the owner's manual. And now, I, there is supposed to be software updates coming as well. I did ask if they're going to be over the, over the air. Um, you know, if the ability to use the Uconnect updates uh, to put these messages into the cluster was capable. I couldn't get that. So, I'm not sure if you guys are going to have to come to the dealership. Uh, for a software update or if it's going to be over the air. I haven't been able to get the information, but they're working on an update. They're going to give you a better message when this happens. It's going to pop up and say the vehicle is entering drive-by brake. It should give you instructions. Um, they should be updating owner's manual. They should be updating service information. So there is a fix for this as well because, um, you know, obviously we need to get to the root. So if this happens, you know, it needs to be diagnosed so we can get to the root issue of the problem. But down here at the bottom, it says, note, if the vehicle entered drive-by brake lip home mode, a key cycle, especially a long key cycle that allows the modules to sleep, may allow the fault condition to reset and exit limp home mode. So, this happens to you. You enter drive-by brake. You're on the shoulder. You know, 
Shut the vehicle down, lock it, take the key about 10 feet away, let it sit, and hopefully this issue will be resolved. So, um, yeah, you know, this is a, you know, drive-by brake. It is a safety feature of your vehicle. They are in the process of giving you more warning messages and hopefully software that keeps this from happening altogether. Uh, again, you know, if you guys drive one of these vehicles, you're going to let someone borrow it. Please, you know, tell them about this. This is important to me. Um, you know, I don't like how the situation was handled. It's unfortunate that the way that it did, and I'm hoping that Stellantis uses this as a learning experiment so that stuff like this doesn't happen again. Um, again, you know, I might get a phone call or an email tomorrow about this, uh, but this is something I'm pretty passionate about, and I think they know that too after going through all those emails back and forth with them, um, that, you know, this, this kind of stuff, you know, shouldn't slip through the cracks. This should be stuff that should be caught from the very beginning. So again, you know, if you guys know someone has one of these cars, someone's going to be driving these cars, tell them about this. Show them this video, show them this bulletin so they can read it, just so they're not blindsided and they are alarmed until these warning messages come up on the cluster. If you guys like my video though, you know, stay tuned. There are a lot more coming. And um, you know, hopefully we're gonna we're gonna make these cars a lot better. because uh, some of the TSBs and star cases I'm performing are also gonna be on the six pack. Um, so a lot of that stuff pertains to that car as well, and hopefully that's gonna help those people out too. But thanks for watching, guys.